Protests in the River City expected to move ahead again tonight as demonstrators fight to end police brutality and calling for ju social justice. Heather Fontaine is continuing our coverage where she has been the past few nights. The latest from Jefferson Square Park. Yeah. Heather, what are you hearing and seeing down there tonight? Hey there, Doug. This is the third time this week that I've seen police officers here at Jefferson Square Park talking to protesters, mingling with protesters and listening to these protesters. Just a moment ago, we actually saw a prayer circle with one police officer and three protesters, just a sign of unity that we are really happy to see. But State Representative Charles Booker pointing out some not so peaceful moments this week here about an hour ago. He talked about being tear gassed when he says the demonstration was calm and he believes there's been some unnecessary escalation of law enforcement. Listen here to what he had to say. And it meant a breaking point with the National Guard being called in. That ain't right, y'all. That's right. And so I reached out to the governor. I've been on phone constantly with our mayor and I elevated your voice in calling for the National Guard to step back. You hear him talking about things being a little bit better last night, and from our perspective, the tone seemed different too. In fact, at one point, we even saw some members of the National Guard high-fiving protesters as they were going down Broadway. But right here now in Jefferson Square Park, there is a speaker system that is set up that is giving the people here an opportunity to get on the mic one by one and let their message be heard. Again, things do remain peaceful here at Jefferson Square Park, and we will continue to see how tonight unfolds as well. Doug reporting live from Jefferson Square Park. I'm Heather Fontaine for WHAS 11 News.